The album was recorded at the Cathedral of the Isles on the island of Cumbria, off the west coast of Scotland. Um, the Cathedral is a space I know really well and I've recorded there in the past with the Fravo Quartet and also run the Glasgow Guitar Retreat there. The acoustic of the building is absolutely exquisite and it's beautiful for solo classical guitar. Bachenbrauer recording was an idea I'd had for a long time. Um, I'd begun to pair the Bach cello suite number one with Leo Brower's uh, solo suite for classical guitar, suite number two, and the pairings of these two uh, suites really worked very well in concerts and it had a nice uh, flow as the music developed. I actually used two different guitars for the recording. The guitar I used for the back suite was a German instrument um, by Gerhard Oldiges, um, and it was a copy of a, of a Hauser guitar. And it had a very clean and clear sound for the back. Um, the guitar I switched to for the Brower suite was my traditional guitar, my very traditional build, Bert Quackle Dutch guitar. Um, it's probably my favourite instrument of all time, and it sounds wonderful for that more modern um, and very sonorous sounding music. The recording setup is very simple, um, especially in the Cathedral of the Isles with the acoustic being so good. The engineer for the album and producer is Douglas Waits, who I've worked with many times in the past. Douglas knows my playing inside out and has a really good ear for how to best present it. So we very simply worked with a stereo pair of microphones, simply set up in the cathedral. We recorded very late at night, which helps limit a lot of background noise, but also gives a very special atmosphere to the recording. On Leo Brower's autograph score for the second suite, it tells you to segue at the end into a beautiful Cuban folk song by Grenet, Cantheon de Cuna. Cantheon de Cuna actually also, in a way, slightly homages the Bach prelude and, of course, the preludio from suite number two.
Pantheon serves as a distant memory to the opening phrases of both the Bach and Brower suites and brings a beautiful sensitive end to the recording.